What's up, my name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This video is incredibly exciting if you've been waiting around for it. So up until now, you've been able to either download and install Windows 11 on your Windows 10 computer in an in-place upgrade process, or you can download a sketchy ISO that was leaked and you really don't know where it came from because it definitely was not the official Microsoft source. Anyways, long story short, Windows and Microsoft have now released the official Windows 11 ISO, and in this video, I'll show you exactly how to download it and all of the steps. In the description down below, you'll find two links, the first of which is what you need to head across to to actually download the ISO. So heading across to this page over here, the Windows Insider Preview Downloads, you'll see a whole bunch of info, though that's only if you're signed in with a Windows Insider account. Otherwise, you'll see something like this where it loads and eventually says you need to register for Windows Insider. That's what the second link in the description down below is for, as such. If you head across to the second link in the description down below, it'll show you how to register for the Windows Insider program. Basically, you click sign in. After signing in, you come back to the register page and you follow through with these steps on screen. It's really simple and free. Heading to this Insider download page, which is the first link, you'll find a whole bunch of info on the Windows 11 official ISO, steps to downloading it, steps to running an in-place upgrade, steps to a clean install using the ISO, and activation at the very bottom. Scrolling down even further, you'll see the actual download link. This is very similar to the Windows 10 ISO download, though you don't need to pretend like your browser is a phone to do so. You'll see Select Edition, Home Pro Education, and Home Single Language and right below it, choose a channel. So if we click select edition, you'll see a whole bunch of different channels here. The dev channel is the absolute latest cutting edge, beta is the second most latest, and the release preview channel, I think is the older, slightly more stable version, not too sure. What you'd probably wanna go for is either beta or dev. Dev will be much more unstable than beta, but beta will be up to date with all the latest features. Right below the top three, you have Enterprise and Home China right below it. So I'll be downloading the Windows 11 Insider Preview Beta Channel 22132. I'll select it, click Confirm, and after validating, I choose a language, much like the Windows 10 ISO download, and I'm presented with the 64-bit download. Clicking Download, we get the roughly 5GB ISO that contains Windows on it. I'm not really going to run through showing you exactly how to use it, because, well, it's simply just another Windows ISO. You can mount it into a virtual machine, boot it up, and install Windows there. You can burn it onto USB using something like Rufus, and fire up another laptop or another device, boot from the USB, and install Windows that way. And of course, if you get confused anywhere along the line, I do have multiple videos covering all of those different topics, and if you're still confused, leave a comment down below, and I'll get across to a more targeted video. Check the description down below for any other links, as I may have already covered a topic that you'll have a question on. Heading back to the download page, there are more steps here. Steps for downloading, in-place upgrade, and a clean install, as well as activation. So if you're going to run a clean install, see this here, an in-place upgrade, see this here. And of course, you can still upgrade using Windows Update and the Insider channel that way. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name has been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!